In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can download and install Postgres on your Windows, connect with PG Admin, and create your first database. So to get started, in Google, search for Postgres SQL Download. Select the first option that comes up, then select the Windows installer, then select Download the installer. So we're going to be installing the 17.4 version. So click the download icon to continue. So the download is in progress. Once the download is complete, open the executable file. Let's minimize this window. Select next to continue. Keep note of your installation directory and then select next. Here, ensure all components are selected, then select next. Now, if you have a different directory or drive that you want your databases, your database files to be stored, then you can change that path here. So in my case, I'll be putting mine to the data drive, which is on my PC. So this PC, and I'll be creating a new folder called Postgres. So let's select that and then select next. Specify a password for your Postgres user. This is your default user that you'll be using to log into your database. Basically, your super user. Then select next. This is the default port for connecting to your database. You want to ensure that you write it down if you're not familiar with connecting to Postgres. However, you can always Google what the default port is. So here, let's select next. We're going to be keeping the default locale and then select next. Select next to continue and then select next to proceed with the installation. This will take a minute or two to complete depending on the speed of your computer. So the installation is almost complete. Select finish. So the stop builder allow you to install additional component. So from the drop down, select your instance name and then select next. Now these are some additional features that you will normally need to install depending on the requirement or ask of you, right? Now a feature that we want to install is the PG agent, which is used for scheduling. So let's check it and select next. Then select next to continue and then select next. Select next to continue and then select next again. On this page, enter your password and select next. So the PG agent has been configured. Now select OK and then select finish. Now it's best that you restart your computer, but I don't want to do so just yet. So now let's connect to our database using PG admin. So from the start, search for PG admin and then select PG admin 4. This is the management tool for your Postgres database instance. To connect to your newly installed instance, right click on server. On the register, select server. Here is where you specify a name for your connection. Now on the second tab, Connection is where you specify the actual host name. Now, if you have done the installation on your laptop, then you can say local host. If it's on another server or computer, then you specify that name here. The default database is the Postgres and the username is Postgres. Enter your password. I normally save my login and then select save. So I've successfully made a connection to my Postgres instance. Now in order to create a database, right click, select create, and then select database. I'm just gonna call this database test. The owner is Postgres, I'm gonna keep the default, and then select save. So this will create the test database. And that's basically it in a nutshell. And now you install Postgres, PG admin, and connect and create your first database. For more training, you can check out my Udemy courses. The link is in the description of this video.